Hey, what's up? It's Snow. Welcome to a new episode of Vinyl Vinyl Vlog. And today we're going to be blasting disastrous murmurs, raspberries in red. Fuck yes. So hyped on this reissue on Osmos Productions. One of my favorite 8-track death metal releases ever. Also, look at how cool this fucking is. Tombstone. Hell yeah. This Osmos Productions reissue sounds great, looks great. Hell yeah, disastrous murmur. I'll get into this a different day. Today we're going to be going over some UK death metal. And this band, I was late to the party. I found out about them when they were touring with Blood Incantation in, well, across the pond, but... I am talking about the mighty Crucimenium Paradise in Venom 7-inch on Profound Lore Records. This was limited to 500 copies. You had 200 colored and 300 on black. This sold out almost immediately. I got lucky on Hell's Headbangers, saw a copy, and just snagged it the fuck up. Because this fucking rules. First off, Paradise and Venom, the, t the tra title track on here, sounds absolutely amazing. I love Charnel Passages. It was an amazing, amazing death metal release. Had the perfect blend of like old school death metal and, and modern death metal. It was great. I loved everything about it. Total riff -arama, great vocal delivery, awesome lyrics. And this is no fucking different, but you have an Absu cover as well. Descent to Akron evolving into the progression of Woe. One of the one of the best fucking Absu songs as well. Amazing, amazing stuff from Crucimenium. Wow. And this is only two tracks, but I was late to the party here. I did not know about this band's existence how goddamn good their demos were, anything like that, until their tour with Blood Incantation. I was like, huh, let's check out this band Blood Incantation's touring with, and I'm fucking glad that I did, because these guys are my shit, seriously. You have your black and white leather jacket, death metal promo photo, check. Awesome stuff. Amazing artwork on here, seriously. So well. I really, really dig the cover, especially. It's just fucking sick with the slime and... Oh, man. It's one of those, like, seven inches and just, you know, pieces of music in general. You can look at the cover and you kind of know what's, you know, waiting inside of these grooves inside... And that is some pure fucking old school death metal. With a modern edge sometimes. A lot of this sometimes reminds me of fellow country mates. Grave Miasma. But at the same time, there's some dismember on here. Not like HM2 pedal worship, but just when it comes to like some of the guitar solos and whatnot. That's what come to my mind, but it sounds amazing because I love Dismember, but this is such a fucking sick 7 inch, I really wish it was more readily available in physical format, I mean fuck yeah, if you did not grab the download code for this there you go in case nobody snagged it yet this is so fucking good, I need to share it with you guys if not, just check it out digitally because, fuck yeah, you're gonna love it. Especially if you're a fan of death metal, and if you're a fan of fucking Absu, hell yeah, they do a great job covering Descent to Akron, I think. I think it sounds amazing. And the artwork on here is done by Daniel Kuragra. Sorry, I butchered your name, dude, but your artwork's amazing. And this is an amazing 7-inch. It's 11 plus minutes of just some straightforward, kick-ass fucking death metal. With an absolute cover as well. Sounds great. 
And I got lucky on Hell's Headbangers, ended up with a black copy, not knowing that it's already, you know, sold out and shit, but you might be able to get a copy, just look around. Like I said, I just got plain black, no big deal. Sounds amazing, looks amazing, fuck yeah. And the title track, Paradise and Venom, if that's a look at things to come, hell yeah. And again, like I said, I was late to the party here when it came, came to this band in general. Like, Charnel Passages had been out for a while, and when I finally sat down and listened to it, I was just like, oh my fucking god, this is awesome. And I really need to snag that on vinyl because it's seriously, it's one of those records that's just amazing. And that's one of the reasons I picked up this 7-inch. I was just curious in, you know, the direction this band was taking their sound toward in the future. And I have nothing to worry about by the sounds of it because Paradise and Venom is a badass fucking 7-inch. And this is a badass band from the UK. Crucimenium, get into it on Profound Lore Records. This is Paradise in Venom. And yeah, 11 minutes of fucking brutality and death metal. Just look at that fucking cover art. Festering in slime. Awesome stuff. Death the brutal way. And it's sick Absu cover, so yeah. If you're a fan of your death metal, fucking sick. And if you're a fan of fucking American black metal legends Absu, you have no reason not to check this out. So get into it. I'm gonna give that a fucking 9 out of 10. Just a dick tease. I can't wait to hear more stuff because Crucimenium fucking rule. Just like Disastrous Murmur, Raspides and Red. We've been blasting this, I'll be going over this in the near future because there's a lot of history behind this record and yeah, I just need a full 15 minutes to get into this beast reissue on Osmos Productions. Like I said, this tombstone just looks amazing. The record sounds amazing. Awesome 8-track death metal. When I mean 8-track, I mean it was recorded on an 8-track, but yeah. Get into it, Paradise and Venom, Crucimenium on Profound Lore Records. Great stuff. Especially if you like fucking death metal. I can't recommend this enough. As always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hells. Eh. <coughs>